Hello and welcome back. In this lecture, we're going to install the composer, which is a PHP dependency manager. Whenever you want to install a third party library or PHP library, we can simply call this method, the composer method, to actually install the PHP library and its dependencies. So the first thing you need to do is make sure if you already have Composer installed in your local computer, open your terminal or your command prompt, type Composer and it says command not found. You can simply install the Composer by typing sudo apt install Composer but we are going to install by php the cli version so what you need to do you need to install the cli version of the php so you can actually run the php through the command line so it'll say sudo apt hyphen get install php hyphen cli and hit enter and I already have the CLI version of the PHP installed and you should install the PHP CLI version like this. Now we have the PHP CLI version we can make sure by typing PHP hyphen V and it returns the version of the PHP. Now we are good to go. So go to your composer get composer.org click on this download tab and we're going to follow this step to actually download the composer. So we're going to use this PHP method to actually download the file. We have this file as you can see composer-setup.php and now we can verify if the file is valid and it says installer verified. Now we can install the PHP composer and as you can see it successfully installed the composer and we can run this composer by typing php composer dot far i don't know how you pronounce it but dot far when you hit enter you should see the composer method let me make it readable as you can see we have this composer methods now what we need to do we need to actually install the composer globally so you can just type composer and it should run the composer so what we need to do but first of all let me delete the composer file which we downloaded now what we need to do we need to move this composer dot for which we install by typing the php command we need to move this file to our user folder in our linux computer so we can run this globally Windows user can install the package. It provides in the Windows package the exe file so you can install actually easily. For Linux and Mac user can follow this guide to actually start the composer globally. Windows user you don't need to worry about. You can actually install like a normal application and just select the PHP location from your XAMPP directory and it will install. So right after here we need to follow this command to actually move this file into our user local bin composer folder just paste this command and it should move the file let me verify yeah as you can see our file is gone and now we can access the composer as you can see it runs the composer without typing any php command now for the Mac user, some Mac system actually doesn't have the user file. You should create the file first. Let me show you. It should define the error right here somewhere. Click on the get started link. And it should be right here as you can see. On some version of Mac OS, the user directory does not exist by default. So you need to actually create the user folder by using this command and then follow the command. So it should install the composer. And Windows users actually just download this exe file to install the composer. 
So that's going to be it for now and see you in the next lecture.